Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Disgusting signs about Melania just went up all over America today and immediately backfires. Heaping droves of clueless protesters swarmed the streets in multiple locations trying to send Melania Trump a message. They held up signs, they wore shirts, and they yapped and yelled all over the place but it all backfired. There were multiple immigration rallies and protests all over America and each of them proved collectively once again why protesters have no sense whatsoever and why their attempts to scream at the sky continuously go unheard. If you want to see what a major backfire looks like, then just turn on the news and look at all the angry people babbling on about Melania Trump, her $39 jacket with a message to the media, and it immediately backfired. Melania Trump doesn't care to address mindless protesters when she's busy doing first lady jobs. She doesn't have time to bicker with people over the fact that a woman who's in the top female role of the country just work a jacket that cost less than $40 and people could only bend the message to meet their personal agenda. Melania Trump trolled the media and all the haters out there turned that funny jacket message into their own greedy story. Talk about being selfish, these folks took a generic message and turned it against themselves just so they had an excuse to protest something. Surely sounds like one big waste of a hot summer day. Melania Trump is too classy to care what people say during their protests, but at least the protesters wasted money on all those signs and shirts. Nothing like sparking the economy and making Trump look good. CNN, the White House says Melania Trump wasn't sending an immigration message with her I really don't care jacket. But demonstrators who riffed on it Saturday sure were. Protesters at immigration rallies across the country held or wore slogans suggesting the opposite message, I really do care. In New York, protesters Annie Scott and Fernanda Koch wore all green t-shirts with the message I really do care on the front. We're here because we think this is important, Scott told CNN about attending the rally to protest the White House's zero-tolerance immigration policy. The I care messages recall First Lady Melania Trump's recent wardrobe choice. Boarding a plane last week to see an immigrant children's shelter in Texas, she wore an Olive Czar jacket with I really don't care. Do you? In graffiti-style lettering on the back. Trump didn't wear the jacket at the facility, and her spokeswoman insisted the first lady wasn't conveying a hidden message. But critics complained her clothing choice was insensitive, given her destination and the ongoing national debate over immigrant family separations. Thus, the I really do care symbols on display Saturda in Washington. Four members of the Ikowitz family don green shirts with a spin-off message. Mike Ikowitz, 39, of Knoxville, Tennessee, said he believed the First Lady's messaging was deliberate, so he and his family were sending one right back during a rally near Lafayette Square, blocks from the White House. We have to speak for the marginalized people, his wife, Tanya, said. Also in Washington, Margaret Stokes, a 54-year-old teacher from Virginia, held a sign depicting a baby's onesie printed with the words, Where is my mother? Below it was the message, Do you care? Separating families, especially young children, without a plan to reunite them is abhorrent, Stokes said. This is not America. There were likely thousands of people protesting about immigration and each of them failed by wasting their time. If any of those people protesting cared about immigrants, then they would open their door and let them live with them. Or perhaps they'll help immigrants with the immigration process, send food, buy them things or help out in a meaningful way other than holding up signs and screaming. How many of the protesters have an extra room in their home to let immigrants move in? How many people can afford to pay for their food, clothing, etc.? Protesters just go home to their normal lives and don't actually have to worry about anything once they're done yelling and holding up their generic signs in their lousy attempt to get Facebook likes. The only people who listen to protesters are other protesters. Protesters annoy people, get in the way and don't usually accomplish much other than getting on the news for a few minutes and then going back to normal life of whatever it was they were doing before they decided to meet up and scream at the sky like people freshly released from a psychiatric ward. If you're out there protesting, then remember this, no one really cares. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.